hello there. So this is my best friend in the whole world, Bruce Newberg. Hello there, vloggers. Um, Bruce and I, you know, go way back to, we were just kids, actually. Well, I was a kid. He was sort of like a mentor to me. And uh, that's a lie. Anyway, no, we met in college. Bruce was in the graduate program, and I was just a barely a little freshman. A little and Oklahoma boy. He wore cowboy shirts and cowboy hats. Well, I didn't really wear cowboy hats, did I? Uh, every now and then. And cowboy boots. You did wear cowboy boots. I wore cowboy boots. And you had those metal kind of ties with, like, the... I never... <laughs> That's a yes, you did. No, you know what? put That's cottage <laughs> cheese on everything. Bruce, I never... I never had cottage cheese on Chinese food. On the beef and broccoli, my cousin Minty had a heart attack. Actually, I still can do that at times. But I did not dress in cowboy clothes. I had some decent no, no, boots. Really. And, but I was trying to sort of eschew that whole thing. And actually, I wore, like, vintage clothes. I wore, like, you know, like 1940s things and stuff. But I did say, I did. I had tried to lose my accent, but I did have a few words. Like insurance. <laughs> he said insurance. And whenever he talked to his parents, it was, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> how are and you? How did I pronounce the thing that comes out of cows? Milk? That's what you always used to make fun of me, milk. Milk. It was two syllables. Well, the general rule, basically, with anyone from the South, is that if a word has one syllable, it is automatically made into two. Like Sam or Beal, my father's name, Beal. But if it has three syllables, like my mother's name, Carolyn, it's turned, Carolyn. Into, it's turned into two syllables, Carolyn. So, basically, all words have two syllables. One-syllable words have two syllables, and three-syllable words have two syllables. And so I was Bruce. <laughs> Yeah, yours name didn't really no. didn't really apply. So then we, we were in college together. I don't know if this is getting both of us here. We were in college together where we wrote um, a number of things, but primarily a show called Hurry, Hurry, Hollywood, which has been, had so many incarnations, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, we did 57 backers auditions, and we've had productions. I mean, like for the Schubert's. Like, huge. And yeah. we've had two, a couple of productions. We've done it at Manhattan Theater Club. And strangely enough, it's sort of reemerged again. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. it reminds me of to tell you stuff. Anyway. Oh, okay. And then we wrote a TV series called Down to Earth. And um, and we've just remained, which was on TBS for four years. It was terrible, actually. <laughs> but it was fun. It was great fun. And who knew? You know, we were quite young. Well, I was quite young. Um, and then Bruce... And he's gotten younger through the years. I have. <laughs> um, and um, so now Bruce is a casting director. I had to interrupt this because the, something was strange with my little target flip camera. Anyway, I was just saying that Bruce is a very important casting director, and he was actually disagreeing with me. What does that mean? Well, I don't think any casting directors are important because we're all so put upon. You th which, is, which brings us to the current situation. Yes. Every year for the last three, two years, and this is the third year, Bruce and I have written a song for the Ardios Awards. The Ardios Awards are an award ceremony which celebrates casting directors. And Ardios means perfect fit in Latin. Does it? Yes, that's where it comes from. Which Fitting makes it seem like it should be like a shoe convention. The perfect fit of actor to role. Ah, okay. Well, it was from... We award our own because nobody else does. <laughs> but you know what? It's really strict because when I, when I was asked to, to do this the first year... Um, actors don't go to this. It's sort of very closed. It's 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 uh, casting directors and studio executives and producers and agents and. Managers. It's actually the scariest place that an actor can perform because it's the all the most powerful people in Hollywood it's all together. Everyone who can hire an actor for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, and so. I was very nervous, and in fact, Alice like, Cassidy, who yeah. was the who was like had running the whole thing, she said to me right before I went on, "Oh, you're going to be." Fan I said, "I'm nervous." She said, "You're going to be fantastic." She goes, "But you know, it's yeah, I understand. It's a lot of powerful people, but you're going to be great." There was that guy who was the host a couple of years ago, and she went, "What was his name?" He's never worked again. He's never worked again. Hello. So I went out and I did the first line of the little, the little scene first before the song, and it got a big laugh, and I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I had so much fun, and it was actually kind of from that that um, that the class happened. Because well, because people came up to me, other casting directors, and said, Sam Harris is going to get a sitcom in five minutes. And then there was, so there was talk about it and everything, and then when the class became came up and all that stuff, because it is... 
what happened was, you know, you guys, I mean, you think everything's so easy for us in show business. I got to tell you, the show business is tricky because they like to put you in a category. And I have been in the Broadway record category for a very long time. And so that, that actually was the thing that made them think, oh, you know what? He's funny. He's actually viable in television. It really, really... Well, because you were really <laughs> funny. I was funny. You were really fucking funny. I have to say I was funny. And uh, anyway, so then last year, we did a duet. And we sang, what did we do? Well, did you ever? We did, well, did you, from we, the Cole Porter song. Have you heard that? Uh, from da, high, da, society. From high, high Society, which was a movie turned into a play. Anyway, so we did it last year, and we rewrote the lyrics. And this year, we're doing a new song, but we cannot tell you what the song is because it is kind of, people have been calling Bruce, people in meetings and things that I've gone to, people have said, are you guys doing a number? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not telling you what it is. And it's very funny. I didn't tell you this. Peter Roth, I had a meeting with Peter Roth at Warner Brothers. Did he ask about the song? He said uh, something about, and because we were talking about my writing, and he goes, and of course you write these parody songs. And I said, and I, and we had made a comment on him and Mary Buck, who's a casting director, the primary casting and director. And they loved it. And they loved it. And I said, so you better be very nice to me. <laughs> I said, yes, it's coming up, and we're working on it well, now. Well, that happened to me with an agent, with Tony Howard at ICM, because we did a thing about her in the song, and when I was having a difficult... Tony Howard is a very, very powerful agent, and, and, and a reputation as being very tough. And she, she was on the phone with me six months later, and she said, I better do what you want, or I'll turn up in the song. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So here we are with our pads, and I'm not going to show you too fast. Try to fast freeze on that, you casting directors who are looking for a little clue you're not gonna get it from us so we're very excited about writing this and uh, maybe i'll hey remind me and i'll take this little camera to the actual event oh okay okay so anyway this is my this is my fri friend friday for this week and i couldn't pick a better one because he's my oldest and i do mean oldest friend yeah <laughs>